Trammell with the Oklahoman. Another college football season arrives today, and I'll celebrate like everyone else. But pardon me if my mind drifts back to the 1980s. While I'm watching Oklahoma Chattanooga on Saturday night, which ranks as the biggest mismatch in OU history, I might think back to the days when college football didn't run scared. Back to the days when the system wasn't flawed. The Sooners are playing Chattanooga because they couldn't find anyone else, but the whole dang process is broken if it produces matchups like this. It hasn't always been so. In 1994, Gary Gibbs got fired in part because he went two and two against non-Big 8 teams Syracuse, Texas A&M, Texas Tech, and Texas. In 1988, Barry Switzer's final team played North Carolina, Arizona, USC, and Texas out of the league. In 1986, the Sooners played UCLA, Minnesota, Miami, and Texas. In 1985, it was Minnesota, Miami, Texas, and SMU, back when the ponies rode high. In 1984, Texas, Stanford, Pitt, and Baylor, back when Grant Taft had the Bears competitive. In 1982, West Virginia, USC, Texas, and Kentucky. In 19, well, you get the idea. College football once believed in fair fights. That's no longer the case. The Sooners schedule better than most. After Chattanooga, this OU non-conference schedule wouldn't be out of place in the glorious 80s. But Chattanooga is coming to Owen Field, and college football, in this territory and beyond, takes another step back.